your backswing and your take back is the same and they can't read it, that's when you have the advantage. Zero, zero, two. The two seed versus the eight seed. Here we go. has just let it hit so what she means there is if if it is that tight to the zero, net zero, don't even hit the ball and just hope that it hits the bar underneath that is hard to do in the moment but often is the proper play so if it hits the bar it is a redo point hey Lacey Schneeman with some wonderful inside out forehand offense one, zero, one. First time pairing, three and O. Oh. Undefeated is nice. Wow. Which is what they did this week then. This is a first time partnership. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, that is correct. <laughs> Second, sir. Had to piece that together. <laughs> well, you, you did great, Rob. <laughs> one, zero, two. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little early sexy time for Anna Bright. That is a one-handed roll up the middle, two inches inside the baseline. What a shot from her. Zero, one, one. And 87% for Anna Bright and her partner, Rachel Rohrabacher. That is a healthy percentage. Oh, yeah. Second so, third. Beautiful defensive work from Jackie Kawamoto, and then a explosive put away from Lacey Schneeman. Fully cross court. Side up. One zero one. hung out there and I think with Lacey and Jackie playing straight up Two, when Lacey's on the right side I think Anna Bright's going to look for that left foot as much as possible sometimes Lacey can get in trouble with the backhand Point. okay it was a very awkward jam up position for Schneeman Three, zero, one. she was able to get it over Second serve. It's a great combination. I love the look. Yeah, a nice athletic move on that poach too. Maybe, maybe a half a second late or didn't fully commit. Three, zero, two. But Jackie Kawamoto definitely had some evil intentions in mind, <laughs> and I love that. Side out. Put that pressure on. First strike, baby. Team Warbach and Bright find any opportunity zero, they can to start to build momentum. Turn that rolling snowball into an avalanche. Oh, the Schneeman's, Schneeman strike. Yeah, she looked to lean in. She loves that forehand. Though. Yeah, it's great, and it's very deceptive. She has a very loose want? wrist, and she can manipulate the ball in a variety mm -hmm. of ways. Right at the last second, too. Agreed. combination but I agree with you Rob uh, uh, with that avalanche as the points can be strung together quickly for the girlies Rachel Rohrabacher and Anna Bright yeah and I think it's just kind of their game style and how their personalities mesh loose backhand volley for Lacey Schneeman and a little something cooking three, three, for the two seeds And running. Yeah, there's that roll drop heavy from Rachel Rohrabacher at the left foot of Jackie Kalamoto. Still on the first serve. Oh. 
Oh, man. Second serve. <laughs> Props to Lacey for getting out of the way. No easy task. Yeah, and an extended holding up of the, the <laughs> pointer finger to let Anna Bright know that that ball is out. 4-3-2. Waits for it, gets it. Ooh. There's that mobility you asked for. Second hand lob. My goodness, ladies. No. All right. Love it. And Rob, that's what I asked for. <laughs> is Kawamoto and Schneeman handling rolls, about seven or eight of them during that extended Three dink four. rally and handling them well. There's reach, and then there's increasing Second your serve. sphere of influence with mobility, and that's what these players have to do to get the job done. Yeah, we saw it with, with the guys' match, too. Just Three, four, wide athletic bases, good use of the lunge step and the shuffle step laterally on the kitchen line. Set up. Point. Okay. Yeah, some offense from Jackie is defended by Bright and Rohrabacher, but it set up an Ernie opportunity Point. for Lacey, Lacey Schneeman. Side up. <laughs> and a Bright, yes, <laughs> on the third shot drive mistake from Schneeman. Put it to work, put it to Four, work. Four, one. You're always happy when you get the ball back, even if it's an error from your opponent. Take those gifts. Point. Was there contact made? Yeah, it looked like the ball changed direction, but maybe that was Five, four, one. some form of optical illusion. But no one seems to be arguing whatsoever. Wasn't sure if Jackie was asking. Next one here. Ah, a little late to get that paddle up. Yeah, that's some great forward movement from Rachel Rohrabacher. She was in the midcourt. Schneeman didn't hit a poor Six, shot. Four, but Rohrabacher charged forward and found some offense out of nowhere. Point. Ooh. Timeout receivers, 7 4 1. All four of these players. Battle of wills here on Time Humana in. Championship Court. 7 4 1. A three point game, but it's closer than that. She's going to continue to press. Neutral. Oh, lob. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So Lacey Schneeman, defense completely off screen, gets back to the kitchen line, finds some offense, and that lob was shut down. <laughs> Great overhead from Lacey Schneeman. Roll from Anna Bright. Lacey Schneeman just off balance. Don't say that much about her. Usually when she is, it's more often on the backhand side than the forehand. Mm. Point. That's tough. Can you see that second time out here? Doesn't look like it. And we are at... 9-4-2. Uh, excuse me, I thought we were at a game point. Side out. All right, sharp backhand roll from Jackie Kawamoto, so I will eat my words. Is, uh, nine is not ten, and this is a Four, definite nine, situation one. where two or three on the board would work wonders for Schneeman and Kawamoto. Yeah, yeah, that forward movement from Schneeman. I mean, she's zero to 60 just at the snap of the fingers. Uh, just so explosive with that Five, first nine, step. One. Wind 
stuff you were talking about. That's going to stay in. Yes, it is. Yeah, sometimes with the windup, you get the deception. But occasionally, a ball will get away from you uh, when Six, you have nine, that extra, mo extra movement in your swing. position in that point the forehand overhead but these ladies are dinking with a purpose even the soft stuff the non speed ups are hit with tons of pace and spin and angle side up uh, so that's unfortunate that the the foot fall in a commanding position cost Kawamoto and Schneeman a point, and then the very Six. next is an unforced error, so ball back over. Second serve. That is real nice. So moments ago, Anna Brett calling Rachel Rohrabacher off. Jackie Kawamoto lands it inside Nine the baseline, and this time, the only option for Rachel is to bail out of the way, and that one lands in too. Short stroke counter from Anna Bright. Rohrabacher gets the glory with that last forehand. And now we are at the game point for the two seeds, Bright and Rohrabacher. 10 6 2. Point game, 11 6. So a quick start for Kawamoto and Schneeman. Guaranteed pickleball play every week. No hassle, no paddle stacking lines, no worries. Join the Pickleball League today and up your game with competitive, consistent, well-matched play. Connect with your local leagues, check live rankings on your phone, and play with ease. Whether you're there to socialize with your community, network across the net, or have fun playing your favorite sport, leagues are a stress-free way to enjoy your play. Find your closest league at pickleball.com and click leagues today to get started throughout so a uh, couple man. caught the net ha had a foot fault and some unfortunate things happen but I would expect more offensive looks for Schneeman and Kawamoto and right off the bat Schneeman coming in hot one of the absolute best north to south forward movers in the women's game side up how does one at home trying to work on their movement become a, a great forward mover? That's, that's a fantastic question, Rob. <laughs> get, get in the gym, work on some plyometrics, nice. that, 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 that kind of stuff, I would say. I, I do think, you know, some of it is you're born one, with, one, but one. I do also think that there's two very different Second things serve. as that, we see that serve go long. Lateral east-west movement and north-south. Some players are good one, at one, one and not the other. Uh, I think Lacey Schneeman has both. And, and you see that sometimes in, in women's singles, where a player is great with the ground strokes left two to right at the baseline, but sometimes the drop volleys or the shots short in the court uh, give that particular player trouble. It's a great reach to take it out of the air from Anna Bright on the backhand side. But yeah, all these players doing gym work. I mean, it's... it's it was not a necessity when I first started, and it definitely is now. So you got to balance that out. Court time, drilling, playing, and, and of course, work in the gym. Side out. That's great advice. I heard the word plyometrics, which is huge, and, you know, off the court training. There's players out there that, you know, spend 48 hours a day on the court, and they're like, why aren't I getting better? You know, it's that off-court work that really pays dividends to you the shots and your success and what you're trying to get done. I don't even know what it means. I just heard someone else say it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got to look it up. It's on my <laughs> list of things to look up. <laughs> One, three, two. Point. 
Nice. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. That Side is out. such a disgusting combination. It's just so dialed in. I love that focus. Great energy, great focus. This is the two main ingredients of being successful on the pickleball court. Three, one, one. Ooh. Second serve. Yeah, I, I think Anna was stuck in between a backhand roll soft or a full on speed up. And unfortunately for Three, her, she one, landed two. right in the middle. <laughs> and uh, Lacey Schneeman was ready. that heavy roll paying dividends again. Moments ago, Rora Bacher was setting up Bright with the backhand roll, this time on the forehand side, just Four flat eight. out forcing an unforced error. Well, I guess it's not unforced if it's forced, my bad. Oh, I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Either way, uh, Rachel won the point and gives it right back. Anna Bright and Rachel, Rora Bacher getting one, but uh, early one in game two, one. but this is, this is a moment that uh, Kawamoto and Schneeman need to step up and get some points. Second serve. It's great partner communication. These two always in the near court seem to be on the same page. One, four, two. Woo. Continuance. Pushed back only for a moment. Wow. Point. Just beautiful pitching play from Schneeman and Kawamoto. I mean, they needed to hit about 14 two good two shots two. throughout it, yeah. but, they, but they did. Yeah, and over the course of those 14 points, just building advantage over the course of the exchange and ultimately getting that put away ball very well done. Yeah, I think that's one of the. Oh. I can't overrule I, I think that that make was, a decision. Did that you was see out, it? but Anna says, nice. In. It's a point. Schneeman and Kawamoto aren't going to argue for a second. <laughs> Side out. A tough miss on an easy opportunity. I always hate to give good teams Four, three, and good one. players those freebies. It's one thing. Second serve. Ooh, tough on both sides now. Yeah. It's one thing I did notice from Annalie Waters and Parento is they were not losing to the net you Four, know, on three, thirds two. or in general. Earlier semifinal. That's a great jam up from the middle of the court from Anna Bright. But you're right, Rob. I mean, Hitting soft shots, especially thirds high, is not ideal, Five, but you got a shot. So especially with the type of athletes that we have out here, you can't just put it right into the net. No chance then. Ah. Point. Timeout receiver, 632. Yeah. 632. a full swing but soft roll from Jackie Kawamoto. I thought she was going to fire her way up the middle and I think uh, Anna Bright thought the same. Good timeout. Second serve. Yeah. For now. Yeah, Lacey definitely had a chat with Lacey there. Not thrilled with that miss. Couple of, on the thirds now from Lacey Schneeman. Must be cleaned up. Yeah. And it is. Oof. Bold. Bright takes her shot, Point. denied by Schneeman. Ooh, nice compact stroke from Lacey Schneeman on the backhand side. Got that ball inside out and low on the counter. Side out. Oh, man, oh man. Yeah, that was a beauty up the line. Lacey fooled. 
even tapping her paddle afterwards to say nice shot to Rachel Warbacher. Happens to the best of us, Lacey. And I'm sure the Scorpion's a great shot, but it's just not something I've really delved into at all. This, uh, I know that there is times, I'm not a Scorpion guy either, there is times for it, but Six it does seem two. like you overcommit. Yeah. So if you get what you're looking for, great, but if you don't, you're kind of hung out to dry. Yes. Point. A low attack from Jackie Kalamoto. Don't mind it, she has that in the arsenal. So, uh, I mean, we, we've been talking first strike women's uh, doubles pickleball all day long. So, it's not going to be perfect. Occasionally, you're going to have Point. a bad one or one that catches the net, and that's okay. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> Time in. 8 4 2. Oof. Point. Yeah, that's. That's clean up the middle. Yeah, that's one nail in the coffin coming off of a timeout. Harsh. Nine, four, two. A nice drive, but not one that should be a clean winner no, up no. the middle. Side Perfect out. use of the net there from Lacey. <laughs> the setup shot was great, though. Uh, Anna Bright completely off balance, and that was kudos to Lacey for, for forcing that. Four, nine, one. All right, I think they're up for it here. Can we get a 9-9? Nine, nine? Look at that. I mean, what a jump and what an angle. I mean, 9-9 nine, nine seems a little ambitious, but <laughs> hey, nine, why not? If we get a 9-9 nine, nine here, I'll do a giveaway. Okay. Oh. Second serve. Warbacher, uh, not thrilled with that statement from you, <laughs> Rob Cassidy. It'll be Five an Atlanta nine. Slam pickleball hat from Pickleball Central. Okay. To the first person who sends Rob Cassidy seven on Instagram. The score line nine nine. When it happens. Okay. I thought you were gonna say twenty Four. bucks to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll also need the twenty bucks. Yeah, so I can that's, buy that yeah that's right. <laughs> All right, Lacey Schneeman. Really good stuff. Six, nine, two. Great put away power. Side Ooh, out. Okay. Yeah, funky little bounce there. Paddle not in the proper position for that mid-court attempt from Lacey Schneeman. And nine, they did six, not one. make it to nine, but they got two, which is a great start. Sender cross court from Jackie Kawamoto. The middle dings to Rohrbacher seem to be sending them off for now. Second serve. Ooh, might have clipped the net. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't clip the net, but uh, what a smooth drive. Yes, it was. Rohrbacher Bright do not want a contest winner. 10 6 2. Match point. Point Ooh. game match, 11 Same spot. Yeah, so two back-to-back -back beautiful low drives from Anna Bright and Rachel Rohrabacher. It was a new partnership on the other side. Lacey has played with Jade, but not with Jackie just yet. They were switching sides a lot. No one really had a set side here. How were you guys able to open up the court and uh, get the win here? Um, yeah, it's uh, Rachel and I both watched some of their matches from earlier in the weekend because like you said We've seen Lacey and Jade and that's a very set, you know Who's gonna play what side since Jade is left-handed? So we wanted to get a feel we saw that they were gonna mix it up and uh, Lacey's playing really really great. She took me out in mix. You definitely don't lose the same person twice in one weekend So uh, really happy to get this one, but uh, they're a really great team I think they play really well together both uh, really good at moving the ball around and and uh, diff different different strengths, but uh, really good team. Really happy to get the win in straights. Yeah. 
And I have another question for you. We just saw Newman, Alshon, Johns, Johns. There's a lot of trash talk at the end of that match. It seems the girls doubles right now is pretty tame. Can we change that around? Do you want to see more <laughs> trash talk in the sport? What's going on? Okay, I think the men trash talk because they can like leave it on the court and it's not a big deal, but the women, it's a little more catty. Like if, yeah. uh, you know, it, it, it means a little it more, home. it means a little more, we're taking it home. And so we're generally, They're we're generally home, pretty we're nice. Yeah, we're taking it home. Months. We're talking to all of our friends about it. Yeah. Uh, so, so, you know, there's a little bit less of that on the women's side. I respect it. It was all about the play today, but the play tomorrow, Rachel, you're playing Annalie Waters, Captain for a Toe, Championship Sunday. You've beaten them before. What did you do that one time that you've beaten them? Are you going to watch tape from that match, diagnose it, and then how do we get ready for tomorrow and get another win? Um, to be honest, we can only control what we can control. Um, I've watched the match a, a lot. Um, I think it's just going to depend on Especially how we games start. Especially one, three, and four. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's saved, downloaded on my YouTube app. Um, I watch it a lot um, just because we pl replay them a lot too. So just trying to study from that. But again, we can only control what we can tr control tomorrow. So hopefully we just get a good start. Yeah, the main thing is uh, uh, starting strong and, and making good decisions. They're yeah. really good. Annalie especially. I jokingly call her the chosen one. Um, <laughs> but we're excited.